We're gonna talk about parenting a child and teen with OCD. And we're gonna go over my three best tips for helping your kid with intrusive thoughts, compulsive behaviors, and rituals. My first tip is to recognize the signs of OCD. Often, OCD is confused with other mental health conditions, especially anxiety. OCD starts with an anxious thought. Often people with OCD have a history of anxiety. Sometimes they don't, especially if they have pans and pandas. Their worry sort of balloons and they develop what we call maladaptive coping mechanisms. They develop an unhealthy way to manage their anxiety. It doesn't make sense, but it often is intrusive thoughts, compulsive behaviors, and rituals. In OCD, we often only think of it as somebody who's doing things like hand washing, um, counting and checking, and yes, that can happen. It always involves having looping thoughts, stuck on thoughts, intrusive thoughts. These thoughts don't have to make any sense. They often feel very much out of control, like sort of a runaway train. When kids are young, OCD can look different than you think. It can show up as repeated questions, a real need for reassurance. Yes, you may see a need for organization or things to be a certain way. You often get this internal worry and the only signs that you get to see about their intrusive thoughts are some of those check-in questions. Do your kids have a worry about you leaving the house or the pet dying, or things that just don't make sense. It's not a one-time question. It's a question all the time. I see things like kids having a fear of choking. They also might have intrusive thoughts that are seem dark, like about demons or hurting somebody else. These are really common things that could be indicative of OCD. Stay tuned for my second part in my parenting OCD tips series.